Hey YouTube, what's going on? Malicious Intent here with another deck profile. This one on Snake Eye Fire King, which I thought was going to be my World Championship Qualifier deck. But it turns out Unchained is currently 9-0. I entered at Platinum 4, so take that as you will. Um, let's get right on to this deck profile. We got one copy of Snake Eye Ash. One copy of Snake Eye Oak. One copy of Fire King Ponyx. Two copies of Snake Eye's Poplar. Three copies of Maxi. Three copies of Ash Blossom, one copy of Fire King Arvada, three copies of Diabell Star the Black Witch. We've got one copy of Snake Eye Flame Burge Dragon, one copy of Sacred Fire King Garunix, three copies of Fire King Kirin, three copies of Nibiru. You know what? I've already seen them. You're going to run into a lot of Fire King Snake Eye. Of just Snake Eye, Snake Eye Rescue Ace, King Sarcophagus that also happened to rank 8 at the end of it or link off um, instead of ending on the four of them. So you can Nibiru a lot of decks right now in the format. So I'm playing three Nibiru, two copies of Triple Tactics Talent. I can also be nibiru and I play Crossroad Designator and maybe I'll hit Nibiru with it. Three copies of Bonfire, one copy of Original Sinful Spoils Snake Eye, one copy of Fire King Island. I play both Field Spells, Divine Temple, and Fire King Island, um, even though you can't necessarily play Divine Temple over Fire King Island, because you'll regeki yourself. But I mean, if you're not, if that's not going to neg you, then go nuts. Uh, one copy of Fire King Sanctuary to search out that Fire King Island. One copy of this Bananas card, Circle of the Fire Kings. My favorite card in this deck right now. Um, if you even go half, get like half of your combo off, but you're like, I don't know, double or triple hand trap, caught by the Grave, Ash Blossom, whatever. Um, this thing's still got five to seven targets. And if you full combo, this thing's got like seven to ten targets. And this thing triggers Fire King Monsters effects. It's great. Two copies of Call by the Grave. One copy, as I said, of Crossout Designator. One copy of Seeker of Sinful Spoils. Three copies to round out 40 cards of Infinite Impermanence. Under the extra deck, I am play testing the first card, um, Garunix Eternity. One copy of Link Karibo. One copy of Nightmare Phoenix. A single copy of Sunlight Wolf. One copy Heat of the Fire Charmer, one copy IP Mascarina, one copy I can't think of anything better, Dark the Dark Charmer, one copy of SP Little Knight, one copy of Selene, one copy of Heat Soul, one copy of Promethean Princess, one copy of Amblo Whale. I'm not convinced on Amblo Whale because I also play Salomon Great Raging Phoenix, and when I go full combo, I'd rather go into Raging Phoenix for it, the sustainability. Um, going to grind games things of that nature but Amblo whale for now is in the extra deck alongside appalooza and finally to round out 15 zealantis thanks for stopping by guys and gals like if you like this video subscribe if you really liked it tell your Yu-Gi-Oh friends that this deck is maybe not the top of the meta maybe not number one deck but it is top three for sure you should all be playing it during the World Championship Qualifier. I know I'm going to run into a ton of them. Thanks for watching.